Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Rising VLSI. In the in the series of TCLT scraping, come to this video for string in TCL. So this video completely dedicated for string and their usage in the TCL language. So here I am going to discuss how to do, how to initialize the string, how to use the string, and what are the different command associated with the string so a string it is considered as basic data type in tcl so a string it is represented by double quotes so now we are going to use the command set so a string is basically a group of a, a group of the similar dimensional quantity or similar types category of the data or it can be a numeric format or it can be the character so group of the similar quantities so we can use the set command we can use the set command to initialize some string so like suppose set st1 where st1 is the name of string here i can use that double quote so suppose i'm going to write a message welcome to tcl world so this is the one of the string which contains some character the group of character enclosed by double quote which represent a particular string now there are certain commands, there are certain commands which are involved with string. So now involved character indices, so uh, character are always indexed starting from 0 to the end. So string, there are some commands which I am saying the string length. String length is a particular command which return the length of a string. Suppose in this particular example, if I want to check what is the length of this particular string or what how many characters i can use puts string length so all the string based command will start with the first letter string okay string length now here we have to substitute name of string for which string i need to apply this command okay now if i press the enter it's going to provide how many character in between there are 20 characters so in this case space is also counted as a character now second command i'm going to say string index string index string name number so it is going to return the character on index pointed by the particular number so now suppose i want to know what is the string index okay string index it will return the particular character over presented or over the pointed by the given number suppose you have a string index dollar st15 so in this string over the character like 1 g, uh, 1 2 3 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 starting from 0 over the fifth character is the m m will return as a output now suppose if i want to take certain range of character to be display so now i need to take the another command string range so string range it return the character in between two indices i have to use the two indices i am going to use the put index put string range apply over the same dollar st1 now suppose i am going to check how many character are present between the index 3 and index suppose i am going to take index 9 so now the character represents here the cum space 2 okay the cum space 2 there are these characters are in uh, presented so now a 4 plus 2 and 1 7 character are total presented in between the particular given range another type of command or another type of string based command are the string to lower string to upper or string to title this can be used to convert either the upper case to lower case or lower case to upper case suppose if i am going to use puts string square braces to start the command string sorry to lower string to lower dollar uh, better to write here dollar upper first dollar uh, string to upper dollar st1 so now as the output i will get all the character displayed into the upper class capital letter similarly if i if we can convert into the lower case by simply changing the string to lower now suppose another another deviation or another type of feature available is the string to title 
so string root title it converts into the sentence keys like first character will be the upper case and other character into the lower case these are the certain basic commands associated with string okay so we can depending on our requirement we can use a string for the particular application which command should be used for which purpose another command available here the trim character trim command so string trim so string trim it is going to trim the particular character from the both the end suppose if i want to remove some character of the beginning end and final end so we can go for the string trim string trimming left it will trim only on the left left side and string trim right it only trim over the right side let's try to understand this with example suppose if i'm going to declare it command string set st1 suppose if i'm going to take the some particular character at the rate welcome tcl again i'm going to take the some character has some random value i have taken okay has three times okay now or better to type at the rate okay suppose i'm going to take some random character are associated sorry to uh, here i have to take here the double quote so one character has been described or one string has been described now if i'm going to apply here the puts under the command string trim okay now string trim as the name suggests it is going to trim on the both side or it can going for the string trim by default on the both side now dollar st1 now which command which character i want to trim i need to write so this command at the rate suppose i want to remove the at the rate so oh uh, sorry so okay sorry i have taken here the st1 is the name of the string so now as output i will get only welcome to tcl from the both the side at the rate symbol going to trimmed off so here we need to provide which character to be removed similarly we can apply here the string trim left so i'm going to apply string trim left it will only apply on the left side if i'm going to apply string trim right it is going to apply it is going to remove only on the right side come for the last set of command we have the string compare so these set of command is apply for the two different string together so now i'm going to declare the two different string st1 and st2 now we are going to compare so it is going to compare in the lexical order lexical order say we uh, in the dictionary or in the we are going to sort sort in alphabetical order which appear first suppose if i'm going to declare a command hello st1 now i'm going to take the another string st2 which command is world now if i'm going to uh, display the this command puts string compare so it is going to compare dollar st1 and dollar st2 now if string 1 if both string are equal output is zero if string 1 appear first out okay so it is going to say sorry spelling of compare So it is going to it, it, if dollar string one appear first sort first minus one if string two appear first plus one if both string appear at the same index or same num so parallel output is zero. Now we can have another sort of command string first. String first it is going to check a particular character which appearing at which index number. so last set of command is dedicated or can be used for the two different string so string compare compare the two string lexical order if string 1 appear first result is minus 1 if string 2 appear first plus 1 if both string occurrence on the same time result in 0 okay now let string okay now if i'm going to declare a particular string set st1 set st1 hello i'm going to take some random string set st2 now i'm going to take here the same letter start with hell now if i'm going to apply the command puts string compare 
so it is going to compare two string dollar st1 with dollar st2 So now what is the output going to say which appear first so in, in the according to dictionary why first of all h appear first e appear first l appear first now l l going to appear first compare the thing so result st1 appear first in the dictionary so result is minus one okay so it is going to check every element in the sorting or lexical order now if I'm going to check here the st string first a string first is a command which will check or it is a comp uh, it is going to check occurrence of a particular character into the string now suppose if I'm going to set a command set st1 hello hello world now if I'm going to check the other command set set other string I'm go in this string we have only one character I want to write here the L. Now I am going to check the command what is the occurrence of L, what is the occurrence number at which index number the particular character going to occur. So first set string first set string first. Now uh, so first of all I need to take dollar st2 dollar uh, st1. I am going to check occurrence of L into the string 1. So what is the first occurrence for 0, 1, 2? First occurrence of L is second index. Now in the same way I want to check what is the last compare, what is the last occurrence of uh, dollar $st2 into the dollar $st1. So it is going to provide the index number 9 according to the given location. So now last command is string match. So string match is a command which is going to match all the characters it, it is going to compare the two string return one if matches otherwise it is going to return as a zero so now I am going to take the same string st1 st2 so now it will compare a string match so it is going to match all the characters so dollar st1 and dollar st2 so now in this case it will result zero because all the character has been not matched. Now if I'm going to take the some other technique like other method for matching like puts string match. Now instead of declaring separately, I can declare here itself. Suppose if I'm going to write help and other string also help. So two string has been declaration and string match command applied together so both string character is matched so result will be one yes character has been matched so uh, in this video series i have taken the string command and their, uh, their usage so now in the, our next video series i will use here the list thank you